All right, guys, welcome back. And although I'm not 100% back in the shack, I've gotten a lot of my mobility back uh, and I'm getting out here a little more. So hopefully I can start coming up with some content. The channel has been a little slow lately. I understand and I apologize for that. But I'm trying to concentrate on getting this leg better so that I can, uh, you know, be back at 100%. So, yes, I've had a few setbacks. I've had, I've had some problems, but we're getting it worked out. And I've got a little quick uh, 3D printing, why you need one video coming up. If you want to check it out and see what it's all about, stick around and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so a lot of you may know, I uh, injured my knee a few weeks back, ended up uh, having to have surgery. Uh, I have somehow managed to, by falling, uh, pull part of my quadricep, I guess it would be called, my quad, the, the, the thigh part of my leg. Basically, I had partially detached it from my kneecap, which makes walking, especially stairs and things like that, quite painful uh, and a little impossible at times so after it was not getting any better went to the doctor and of course he's like hey this isn't going to fix itself we got to go in and fix it which i knew meant surgery uh recovery time and all that so really wasn't looking forward to it but hey just glad to still be here and uh, all that so went and got the surgery guys and been sitting around and and as with any of my tools a lot of times uh, the necessity of something is what kind of gets my mind geared into, hey, I need something for this and I can use one of the robots and make it. And so being that I was on medications, you know, I'm taking, uh, have to take baby aspirin and stuff like that to prevent blood clots and so forth. Not really wanting to move around a whole lot, but when I do, of course, I'm having to use crutches, but I want to keep my phone with me that way in case I fall, you know, or whatever. Yeah, I can call for help because the family, just because I'm injured, life goes on. Family still has to go to school, to work, and all that. So I was having a problem keeping up with my cell phone and, you know, putting it down in the waistband of my elastic shorts, which is the best thing to wear when you're in the condition that I'm in. You don't want to go fooling with a bunch of belts and buttons and zippers and all that. So I'm just, I'm, hey, I'm doing the all elastic t-shirt combo wardrobe right now. So there wasn't anywhere to put this guy. And this could be something I needed, you know, medications, there could be reactions to medications, there could be falls, slips, uh, who knows, there could be anything. Or just my wife calling to check on me and me trying to hurry to get to the phone and fall. So best bet, keep it with you. So I got to keep these with me anyway. I can't go anywhere without these right now. So I needed a way to be able to just chunk that guy in the, in the crutch. And that way, no matter where I went, it's, it's going with me. If I were to fall, it's right there. It's going to fall with me. So I designed it. I came up with the idea and I was like, you know, if I could fix it to where it's a no tool, uh, no tools needed to insert this uh, file. So that's what I did. And I'm going to kind of show you what it looks like in Fusion 360 and kind of go over the design. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's neat and uh, give you a little more information on it. All right. So as you can see, guys, design this thing in Fusion 360. It's my go-to for 3D design uh, for anything. Uh, I, SVG stuff, I design mostly in Lightburn, but 3D, STL design, Fusion is my go-to. Uh, and as you can see, this, this is a pretty slick little design. It took me two attempts to get the overall design correct, uh, get the right tension on the legs as far as the width and everything goes. Uh, I did have to go back and do a couple more revisions, basically just adding that round over to the edges so that it wouldn't be uh, too irritating uh, or sharp. But yeah, there it is. All right, so with this, I didn't want to do anything permanent. Uh, I didn't want to make anything that was going to damage uh, the crutches or anything like that uh, by having to put holes or you know anything, anything out of the ordinary. So what I've done basically is you take this little wing nut right here, loose from these crutches, and just in case anybody wants to know, if you want to ask, I'm not sure that all crutches are the same. Uh, so these are Guardian MDSV80534 is the reference number, I guess, on there. Uh, I will tell you, I believe these were 19 millimeter uh, legs. So once you take this little wing nut right here off, this actually pulls apart and allows this to come out because as you can see in the design, it's more or less, it just kind of sits here. And when you get it right there, you can literally just push it and it'll snap in. Once it snaps in, 
Uh, then you can take and put the washer on and then you can tighten it up. Now, so what I would recommend uh, to make sure that things don't move around, especially if you're putting this on, say you're putting this on something for someone else. Uh, maybe you're not the one that's using this and uh, maybe they're just not mechanically inclined as you are. So you take this thing off. Most everybody that does crafting or anything has these little, these little foam, just little foam sticky pads. All right, you can literally take one of these little foam sticky pads, put it in the middle of this, uh, this little recess right here on both sides. Now, this is going to make it a little snug uh, when you go to put it together, but this is going to make sure that it doesn't move. So I'm taking these two little, uh, these two little pieces, and these aren't necessary, but if you tend to bully them around and make them move, it's not a bad idea. So I'm going to go right below here on this little sticker part. And I'm just gonna snap mine in right there. Now, with that foam tape in there, now that that's snapped, this isn't going anywhere at all. Uh, and the seal, you know, it kind of it kind of hides the crack or anything like that. So now, all I've got to do to dually make sure this doesn't go anywhere is go down here and put the washer and the wing nut back on and tighten it down as it would be if the caddy were not there. Uh, of course, this little thing's directional. Uh, but yeah, so once I tighten this down, now because of the foam tape, not only do I have the adhesive on the tape that's gonna kind of help keep it from moving, but you also have that little bit of added pressure being emitted from that foam tape to kind of increase the, the friction hold anyway. But it's this is not going anywhere now. I mean, I, I don't know that it would hold my 230 pounds up but it's not going anywhere it's not moving so that would be my recommendation if you're if you're going to do something like this or if you're a recipient of a set of my uh crutch caddies here that would be my recommendation and because i'm ocd guys what i'm going to do on mine i'll just show you the process here i'm going to take this off of here and don't, don't drop this little washer. It's hard to find, especially when your mobility is not at 100%. And then like some moments, I'm just gonna bring it right here in the middle, snap it out. And uh, I'm gonna add my little foam things. All right, so I got my little my little foamy, foamy tape uh, stickers on there. And just because I, wanna, I didn't wanna mark them or anything, I wanna make sure they're reasonably close to the same level. I'm just gonna put my crutches up here side by side. And uh, Take this one, I'm gonna push it around until it gets ready to snap. And then I can, of course, I can move this one out of the way because this one's not going anywhere. Uh, once you get it lined up where you want it, like I said, it's just like this. I'm just gonna push it with my thumb and it's gonna snap. With that adhesive on there, it's it's there now. Uh, but I do need to go back and retighten uh, the leg, little grip handle things here. So my object, guys, was to create something that wouldn't interfere with the way crutches are intended to operate. It's not causing you to have to drill any holes or anything like that to sacrifice structural integrity of the design. Uh, you get minimal, minimal push out on these two legs right here, but it's not pushing them out enough of a degree or angle uh, to cause any kind of uh, bending risk to this 19 millimeter aluminum. So all in, all in all, I felt like it was a safe, easy, easy to install process. I know a lot of people maybe in certain situations where you don't necessarily own uh, the crutches, maybe it's a worker's comp case or something and you gotta turn those back in. Using this and using the little adhesive pads, worst case, you have a little sticky stuff inside there. You might have to get some alcohol or something to rub that off of there. But my experience with this foam tape is it's pretty easy to get that stuff off, even with like fingernail polish remover or something. So this was the design that I came up with and that's, that's what I've been using. And it, it just works, guys. You are limited to the stuff that you can carry. Like say if you wanted, you know, you needed an ink pen. You can put ink pens in there. Uh, if you're needing to, to go get something out of your cabinet, I mean, you can, you can, you can put whatever inside this little box uh, and have it with you. Uh, this, so it's been a real game changer for me uh, from the first couple of days that I had the crutches, and I just thought I would share. 
So here's the cool part. Now that you've hung around long enough, you've watched this part of the story, now you get to hear the cool part of the story. Well, I had rehab today for our therapy, rehab, whatever. <laughs> rehab sounds like I got a substance abuse problem. But anyway, I had physical therapy today. And uh, so I went in and I was in there. And the guys and gals that work at the physical therapy place, I told them a couple of weeks ago what I did as far as making things and 3D printing and CNCs and stuff like that. But as usual, most folks don't comprehend the stuff that you can do with just a computer, a little bit of plastic on a spool, and a machine. And so when I went in today, I knew they were going to be like, oh, that's cool. Where do we get one? So I made two extra sets of these and took with me uh, to the therapy session. And while I was in there, there was a guy in there who I know from the community. I've, I've worked with him as far as we've both worked for the cities and we've both, both, you know, we've done stuff together. He's a good guy and he's had some medical problems and has led to an amputation on his part. And so I got to thinking, you know, for me, having this little thing to hold my phone, that's a, that's a temporary problem. You know what I mean? Hopefully within four weeks, these things will be in the closet, never to be used again if I'm fortunate. Uh, but when you're sitting in there and you're thinking about it and this guy, cause he's like, man, you know, he, he told my wife that he would like to have a set of these after overhearing my conversation with the people at the therapy place. And of course she texts me while I'm in there getting stretched and iced and done all the stuff too. And so I, I knew him. So I just basically told him, Hey, get a couple of the sets. Cause I had brought two sets to give to the physical therapy place that they could give out to people that, that needed them. You know, maybe they're, maybe they're you know, having the same issues that I'm having with keeping up with this and making sure that I'm safe uh, in case I fall or whatever. And so gave it to him. But in all that, I, I just want to say, guys, that, you know, I am thankful that I have the knowledge, the skills, the abilities, and the equipment to, to do what I do uh, with making stuff like this. But I did overlook the fact that by me being in this situation with this you know, part of my life for the next four or five weeks. I actually slipped around and created a product for people who have went through a situation because this guy that I'm talking about, you know, four or five weeks from now, when I put these in the closet, he's still going to have to have his to some degree. Now there's prosthetics and stuff like that, but I've got an uncle who has a prosthetic and there are times that you're not going to want to wear that thing and you're going to use crutches. And so there's, there, it, it's the product that I accidentally created ended up being a product that could in essence affect people's daily life for the next the rest of their life uh, because if they have a printer access to a printer or if they have uh, like this guy you know goes into the therapy place and gets one made uh, or get, you know got a set of them uh, it, it could be it could be really a big deal for somebody like that it could in essence and I know this is a stretch guys but this little project could actually save somebody's life because if you've got to think about it, just like with me, I'm on those little low dose vit uh, aspirin right now. If I fell out here and cut myself and couldn't get back up because of my, my knee or whatever, it could be bad. So being able to have this with you is a big deal. And you know, this little guy, as simple as it is, you know, a dollar's worth of, of filament, it could make a big difference because I was able to have my phone with me. So that's the kind of stuff that, that, you know, I, I realize that I am where I am because, you know, the good Lord Almighty has decided I needed to be. And it's just weird to me sometimes the way that that projects come up or things come up or I get put into situations and develop things. And then you start looking down the road and it's like, wow, you know, that's that's awesome. Because there are things that you can purchase on Amazon that look like a little purse that Velcros to the to the. Uh, crutches and so forth, but this is actually a product that I and I actually mentioned it to my therapist up there at the thing. I was like, you guys should just get you could get the file, and you could just have a 3D printer over there in the back room with this file on it, and then when somebody needs a set, you give them a set, and then you just print you another one, and you just keep that just keep that going. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that very well may be something that uh, I participate in with the local. Uh, uh, rehabilitation center that I'm using now and for you guys that are out there that are maybe disabled vets or no disabled vets to go to the VA that have this capability that can print these it might be something that you want to check and just fill around see if you know guys because this is cheap yeah it takes to print two of these takes I think about five or six hours on the A1 uh, with the AMS running stock settings but 
for somebody that crutches is a daily fixture of their life that doesn't have a remedy for this already, it'd be pretty cool. And it'd be one of those projects that you could print and donate or give to the, the VA or local organizations or, I mean, kids. Think about it. Handicapped kids. It, this has opened up a whole nother level for me with how I use my machines. Uh, making accessibility accessories for people with handicaps and disabilities had never crossed my mind. I mean, that was not something I had thought about until I got flung into this situation. Thank you for that, by the way. Uh, <laughs> and so it kind of opened my eyes to the fact that these machines can be used for other things. So there you go. And because of the nature of this file, guys, uh, I'm going to drop it in a link, and I'm going to put it out there, and I want you guys to share it. Don't sell the file. Uh, this file, like I said, I'm creating this one to help people and to enable you guys to do something, you know, in the community, do something friendly with your 3D printers and help other people out. Uh, and hopefully nobody's going to take and steal the file and try to use it or sell it or anything. If you see anybody selling this file, then by all means, <laughs> let them know, light them up, tell them to quit, uh, because this is going to be a file. We're going to donate this to the world for uh, from the Clack Shack. It was something that I created uh, for people who need it, and I just don't feel right charging for it. So uh, if you want the file, go check down below. I'm going to drop the STL down there. I'm not going to set it, set it in there pre-sliced because you may have your own slicer settings. But, uh, yeah, if you know somebody that needs this or wants this or, or whatever, feel free to print it out and give it to them. If you know somebody that has a 3D printer that does have crutches that would benefit from it, point them to this video, point them to the file, and let them get it. Because, like I said, this is one of those things that I think needs to be free to everybody. And uh, as much as I like money, <laughs> it's just not right to charge for it. So, until next time, guys, uh, be safe and have a good day.